Heads up. That wasn't supposed to happen. All right, guys, I just want to show you this beaver dam. So this, this creek goes probably a mile all the way up to a pretty good sized lake. And there's a lot of beavers and otters in that lake. And you know, I mean, it's obvious that they've, that they've probably come from there. They travel this creek all the way up to it. And that's probably four feet deep up there where they've got that water stopped up. They've got corn stalks from over here on the other side of the river and sticks. They've got a beet path. They've got a channel up that bank and a beet path over here to all these willow trees. And uh, they just eat the bark off of them. And after they eat the bark off of them, they use those sticks to help stop the water. And then they shove the mud up and they just keep, they keep piling sticks and keep shoveling mud and, and then voila. You got a beaver dam and uh, you can't just pull a few sticks and think this thing's going to bust because it's, she's in there tight and I mean really tight. We're going to walk down here and see if what kind of tracks there are. I mean I see some coyote tracks and it's like some otter tracks. I think a really good spot, this was deeper um, back this fall during deer season when I first seen it it would have been a really good place to catch an otter coming down into this river but uh, I can see that it's, it's silted in pretty good get my hands washed off here well that beaver dam is Pretty darn cool, I might say. Fascinating how an animal is smart enough to, I mean, make something like this. This is just magnificent. The bank's caved off over here and they just shave it on around there and just keep on a building. Really good spot right there. Put a foot trap, catch an otter coming down over the dam right there. Great place to catch a catch an otter, probably catch a beaver too. Um, and then raccoons, you know, they'll travel the top of the beaver dam just, just across the creek because they can't cross it anywhere up in there. But uh, guys, if you like these videos, I'm gonna be doing some coyote calling with uh, a Fox Pro. And I just got a 6.5 PRC in the mail and i'm gonna be out hunting the coyotes hot and heavy with that and see if we can't get us some coyotes on the ground i'm gonna try to get everything on video i've got to put out some more videos because i haven't i've been slacking in the video and department for the last few months i just kind of got tired of it and so i think i'll be putting out some more some more hunting videos here soon of calling coyotes and bobcats hopefully so make sure to hit that subscribe button and like button all that stuff and just be watching for some more videos because they're going to be coming hopefully soon guys thanks for watching we'll see you on the next video